This review is by of Morningstar Farms Incognito Plant Protein 100% Plant Protein Chicken Tenders. Not real chicken. Non-GMO soy, but there's other stuff that's GMO in here. And it is parv, so it's safe for Jews and Muslims in that respect. Um, and then, like I said, like I said, there are some GMO products in here. Uh, that's the only thing remarkable about the products from Morningstar. Um, nine grams of complete protein, 17 grams of pro total protein. We're talking plants here because protein comes from plants. 28% less fat than chicken tenders. All the flavor, supposedly. Um, so here is the big old blurb about their products and the instructions and the nutrition facts and then the ingredients are at the bottom there kind of squished in with everything else and that's pretty much it so hold on while i cook this up Okay, so um, while we're waiting for it to cook up and it's almost done, there are three tenders have 230 calories, nine grams of fat, of which one and a half are saturated, no cholesterol, 15, uh, sorry, 510 milligrams of sodium, which is excessive, 22 grams of carbs, of which two are dietary fiber, two are added sugars, and there are 17 grams of protein too. Um, so is this good for you? Uh, well, Considering that it's got soy protein isolate, wheat gluten, and other stuff in it. No, this is an ultra-processed food. This is not something you should be eating on any kind of a regular basis. Uh, infrequently is okay, but not more than that. As with all ultra-processed foods, you should avoid eating it on any kind of a regular basis. Um, I would say overall, you know, maybe, you no, know, this is my personal opinion. It's not based on science um, that if you're going to eat any kind of junk food, which is, you know, this, um, and any ultra processed food, any highly processed food, you should limit that kind of consumption. It doesn't matter what brand it is or what it is. If it's if you can recognize it as highly processed or also ultra processed, you should only eat it once or twice a month, in my opinion. All right. So, yeah, hold on. All right, let's finish this up. This is the fake chicken fillets or whatever you want to call them um, to... I would say two and a half to three inches long, but they vary. Some of them are bigger. Some of them are smaller. Some of them are longer. Some of them are shorter. The smallest, shortest one was probably about the size. So it's like eating a processed chicken nugget, you know, with the meat being minced and then reformed. It doesn't exactly taste like chicken, um, but it's okay. Um, I think kids would enjoy this. I mean, if you're looking for like a really nice chicken taste, obviously it's it's this is not it, but it'll do, especially for kids. So I'll give this a seven. Thanks for watching. And hope you have a great day.